Hey, what's up guys? Happy Monday and welcome back to Grow with Gigi. Today I am feeling so patriotic. Fourth of July right around the corner and me being a Mexican American, that means I get to celebrate two holidays pertaining to my roots. For today's meal, I'm gonna be sharing a killer turkey burger recipe, which is also diet friendly and clean. I'll also be sharing with you guys one of my favorite leg workouts. Fourth of July to many means yummy comfort foods, but making smarter food decisions on holidays like this shouldn't be impossible. These clean turkey burgers will be a for sure hit at your barbecue and everybody will thank you later. Today's leg workout will consist of squats, lunges, and a couple other glute focused workouts. One of my many pre-gym routines is pre-workout. Now pre-workout is not required, but it totally helps. Let's go to the gym. turkey burger time. Today's recipe, you will need ground turkey, corn, avocado, which is optional, but I prefer it, tomato, onion, cilantro, pretzel bun, one purple onion, lettuce, and sprouts. And of course, the MVP of the day, habanero. Now for the ground turkey, you can use the ground turkey of choice, but I prefer to use a leaner ground turkey, obviously. So there's 93% lean, 7% fat, which is a good fat. You need a little bit of fat too. Now this is 16 ounces of turkey. Let's go ahead and... Okay, so let's go ahead and scoop this into our ground turkey. Next up, we have our onion. Mixing with my hands now. This is the best, the best way to mix any meat. Add your elote, sprinkle as desired. Now this is my preferred seasoning of choice. You guys can season as you'd like, but this is the one I'm gonna be using today. It is low in sodium and I got it at Sprout. I'll post the product details in the link below. Oh, in there. Oh, it smells so good. Typically want to use gloves when you cut habanero because it'll stay on your fingers, but I'm Mexican and we don't do that. The secret to a good chile too is leaving the seeds in there, so don't, don't skip out on the seeds. And now we mix. And mix. Today I'll be adding some breadcrumbs in here as well. These are from Trader Joe's, but you can use any brand that you desire. Um, obviously you want to keep it low calories, so make sure to check the nutrition facts in the back and do a little bit of homework on it. And again, mix. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and grab a handful of this flavorful ground turkey. You want to start molding it like a patty. Now as you can see here in the patty, you'll see the onion, the cilantro, Look at that. There's a little piece of habanero in there. Ay. Okay, now obviously you see my skillet is ready. It's mad. It's hot. 
Okay guys, there's that sizzle I always talk about. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I only ever cook with coconut oil, so this sizzle does not make me feel guilty. Make me feel good. You can change the size of your patties. If you want a smaller patty, if you want a thicker patty, it's preference. Also, I wanted to mention, the more you use your skillet, the more flavor it'll have. So, my skillet is almost a year old, and it is smelling so good right now. This kitchen is getting hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up. Okay. okay, we look at the turkey burger closely. You see that it's nicely charred, looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead and chop our tomatoes, or slice our tomatoes. You can put whole avocados, sliced avocado. I prefer it when it's mashed, but you definitely don't want to skip out on the avocado. There's that. Go ahead and get this off the skillet. Comes our next one. These pretzel buns here are fresh from the bakery at Sprouts. These are the ones that I prefer. I'm also going to be showing you guys a lettuce wrap version, but pretzel bun and lettuce wrap, both optional. What the pretzel buns look like. Now, if you want to be a superstar, you can toast it, and that's what I'm about to do. Pretzel buns back to play. Nice and toasty. Now we're going to do our avocado spread on our buns. I like to do it on both sides. Again, totally optional. You want to be as generous as possible. Avocados are friends. They're good fats. And they're so tasty. Let's add our lettuce. Next up comes our patty. Onion. Baby sprouts. It just adds such a nice garnish and touch, and they're really good and really crunchy. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get this all ready. And now for our lettuce wrap. Go ahead and grab the biggest piece of lettuce that you can get. And let's go ahead and transfer our patty over. Just like the burger, add our ingredients. So, this is for my low carb friends that are on the keto diet. Your sprout. And now we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Go ahead and secure it with your towel. This is in and out style, guys. And there you have it, guys. Here is your let it wrap. And there you have it. So we got the pretzel turkey burger going on here, and then we have the keto-friendly lettuce wrap. I'll go ahead and post calorie and uh, protein information in the description below. But this is what they're gonna look like. Looks super appetizing, super good, and I can't wait to have a bite. Thanks for watching, guys.